So for today, we're going to go back and we're going to look at our day one note and we're just going to finish this. And what we're going to do is we're going to check our homework at the same time. We're just going to keep alternating, okay? So um, last time we started this 4 through the 256, x to the 21st power, y to the 30th power, but we didn't finish. All right. So this root of 4 tells me that I need 4 the same in the group in order for it to come out of the radical, yes? But whenever I have numbers, guys, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into the calculator and see if I get a non-decimal number. If I do, then that's it. If I get a decimal, then I have to do it the long way. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm going to put a little answer box over here. Fourth root of 256. If you put that into the calculator, what do you get? Do you get a nice pretty number or do you get a decimal? Do we remember how to put in the fourth root? So you have to go to four. You have to type in four first and then go to math. And then five. You gotta type in the one with the little X in front of the radical. Okay? So let's all try this. Some of your calculators are fancy and the four will jump right into the X. Some of yours look like mine, and that's okay. You have the four and you put the little it has a little X. Give me the calculator. Alright, so the four through the two fifty-six should give me four. There's no decimal, so I don't have to do this the long way. So that's just four. Okay, so the four comes out. Now, guys, let's look at X to the twenty-first power. Remember, power over root. So this is really x to the 21st over 4, uh, x to the 21st over 4 power, right? So, okay, if, uh, if I put in 21 divided by 4 into my calculator, I get a decimal, right? So you have a couple of options here. You can draw out 21 x. Okay, which you can do on the SOLs because you have all day to take them, right? But since we're in class right now and, you know, I don't want to draw out 21 X's, I'm going to show you another way, all right? So what you would do is you would just do regular long division, right? 21 divided by 4, okay? All right, so your calculator will tell you how many roots of x's come out. If you put in 21 divided by 4, what's the decimal that you get? 5.25. 5.25? So that 5, that number goes here. That's your outside number. Okay, that whole number that comes out, that's what goes there. So what is 5 times 4? Okay, so then just take, so subtract that out of the 21, and what, how many do you have left? One. So you know what? This number is how many come out, and this number is how many have to stay inside. Does that make sense? So what you would have is, out is x to the what? Fifth. And then let's leave some room. We'll put a fourth root x. How many x's stay in? Just the one, right? Okay. So that's another way to do this if you don't want to draw it all out. Now let's look at the 30. Y to the 30th power. 30 over 4, right? Put in 30 over 4. Tell me if you get a decimal or a non-decimal. 7.5? Okay, so that means I'm going to do it this long division way again. Tim Wood said it's 7.5, so that means 7 is going to be my out number, right? What is 7 times 4? Four? 28. So subtract that from 30, and what do you get? 
two. Well, that's your remainder. And that's your inside number, right? Okay, so let's see. That means y, I have four that come out, y to the fourth, and I have two that stay in. And there you go, that's how you do that one. Okay. All right, so I want to look at the homework. Let's check the homework together, or she may. So one through four, let's say give you the answers to number four and I want you to check. And if you got any of these wrong, then please say something and we'll go over it, okay? Number one and two, you were supposed to rewrite it using the radical. Fifth root of x squared, yes? Right, number two should have been four through to ten. Good. Number three, you have x to the four half, which don't leave it as four over two because what's four over two? What does that simplify to? Four divided by two. So this would be x squared. Now look at number four. What did you get for number four? Y to the, what's the power on the Y? 10, what's the root? Okay, can you simplify 10 over four? Put that in the calculator and hit math, enter, enter. What do you get? Okay, now hit math and hit enter, enter. Good. Five over two. Five halves. Good. Yes. All right. So number five. How many of you guys did number five? Okay. Let's do number five and six right now, please. I have number five and number six. Good. So let's do this. How about we do number five together and then you do number six? Because I, I see some of you guys look a little bit confused. If you're already working on number five, then great. Okay? So let's do five together. So I'm going to put my answer down here, okay? When I start doing this, I'm going to do just a number first, okay? So cube root of eight. Put it in the calculator. See what it, see if it gives you a non-decimal pretty nice number. Cube root of eight. Where do you go to get the cube root? Um. You can go to math. You see the cube root? Four? Huh? Yeah, what's the cube root of eight? Two. Two, good. All right, so that's two. Since it's just a plain old two, that means that that just comes out. There's nothing left over. Now I'm going to look at my x's. How many x's do I have? Three. How many do I need in the group to come out? Three. Well, all right, so then that's x, x, x. I have a group of three. There you go. Four is power over root. What's three over three? One. Okay? So that means one group of x's comes out. Nothing stays inside the radical. Are we okay with that? All right, so now let's look at my y's. How many y's do I have? Just the one, right? How many do I need in the group to come out? Three. Three. Do I have enough? No, there's not enough, so it has to stay inside. Okay? Now look at the Z. How many Z's do I have? One. One. How many do I need in the group to come out? Three. Three. Do I have enough? No. 
that stays inside. So that's the answer to number five. Are we okay with that? How did you get that? Huh? If it doesn't have enough to come out, or you had like one group of three, and then you had like one left over. The left over is still in the box. This box, right? Okay. Any leftovers or anything that doesn't quite make that group? Okay. So let's try number six. Look at number six. How many do you need in a group to come out? Four. Okay, so go and look at the X's, go look at the Y's, and go look at the Z's, and see how many groups of four you can make. Okay? The groups, they come out. Only one from the group comes out. Any leftovers have to stay inside the four three. Alright? So try that. All right, number six, remember, the root tells me how many I need in a group in order to come out of the radical. So let's, let's see, there's no number. So, all right, I'm gonna look at my variables. Now, starting with the x's. X is power over root. Hmm, do I even have enough to get a group of four? No, I only have three, so. A's inside, it's got to go right back inside. Okay? Now let's look at the Y. Y to the 5 over 4. Well, 5 over 4, it won't simplify to like a nice non decimal number, right? But let me think. If I have 5 Y's, how many groups of 4 can I make? One. Just one, right? Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I have one group. How many do I have left over? One. One. So one comes out and then because the group, right, the one from the group comes out and then the one that was left over goes, stays inside, okay? So then let's look at the Z's. Z, how many Z's do I have? Eight. Eight. And the root is four, so wait a minute. If I think about this, hold on. 8 divided by 4 is what? 2. So if I wrote it as power of a root, then that gives me 2. Then I, okay, then I can go, all right, well, then that simplifies to z squared. Think about it in, like, you know, the groups. If I have 8 z's, how many groups of 4 can I make? 2. Do I have any left over? No. So this would be, yeah, does this make sense? So, I mean, you could even just write it all out if you wanted to. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's one, and here's another one, right? It's two perfect groups. Any questions about that? Okay. All right, perfect. So, can we try another one? Let's try seven and eight. So eight is a little bit tricky. So we'll do eight together, but I want you guys to try number seven, please. Fourth root of 256, xy to the fourth. You guys can definitely do this one on your own. Yes. Okay, so number seven, remember, we're looking at the root. The root is four. That tells me I need four in a group in order to be able to come out of the radical, okay? So I'm always going to start with the number, if there, if there is a number. So 256, what is the fourth root of 256? It's four, good. The first thing you want to do is just put in the calculator and see if it gives you a nice non-decimal number. If it gives you a decimal, then we have to do it the long way, okay? All right, so that's four. Do we know how to put in the fourth root of 256? Are we okay with that? Okay, so four comes out and we're good. 
Now, let's take, let's look at the variables. Look at your x. x. What is the power on that x? 1. Right? What is the exponent on it? 1. Right? What is the root? 4. Okay, 1 over 4, I can't simplify and get a nice, pretty whole number, right? So, I'm going to go and I'm going to think about this. If I have 1x, can I get a group of 4? No, you don't have enough. So, I have to stay inside. Okay? Now, look at your y. How many y's do you have? Four. Good, that's a power, right? What's the root? Four. What's four over four? One. So this is y. This is just a nice, pretty number one. That one just comes out. Or you can think about it this way, Ethan. You can have, you think of it like this. You have four y's inside. I need groups of four in order to come out the perfect one group of y with nothing left over, okay? So the answer for number seven would be four y times the fourth root of x. Yes? Okay, so let's look at number eight together. So eight, I have the fifth root of negative 324 x why to the fourth? Okay. So starting with the number here. Guys, let's put this in the calculator and see if we get a nice pretty number. So the fifth root of negative 324. All right. So five, because I want the fifth root. And then I'm going to go to math. And that's the fifth one, right? With the little x in front of the radical. What is it? Negative 324? You get decimal? Oh, no. That means we got to break it down. You have to do this one the long way. All right. Well, let's do it. Fifth root. So if we have a negative inside, that means that if we bring out anything, then the negative has to come out, okay? So just for now, I'm going to ignore the negative. I'm just going to break down 324, okay? I know it's negative, but I'm just going to ignore it for a second. So 324 is what times what? 2 times what? Well, I guess we could put negative 2. It doesn't really matter. Sure. Yeah. 2 times what? 162. Okay. So I'll put negative 2 times 162. Uh, Alright, so this negative 2 is good. I can't break it down anymore, but I can break down the, eight, uh, the 162. What two numbers multiply to give you 162? Two times one. Yeah. Okay. So then I have, I gotta break this down again. Negative two times the two. 81 breaks down into what times what? Nine times nine. And then, guys, the nines, they each break down into 3 times 3, right? Negative 3 and 3 plus 3 is 3 times 3. So let me see. So I have a negative 2 plus 3 times 3. So let me see. So I have a negative 2, right? Because I only need just the one negative, right? And I have the 2. And then you have 4, 3. Good. 3, 3. I did a three, little bit differently. Three. You did the tree. Well, I did the one of the threes was negative and one two was positive. Okay, that's fine. But you you have only one number that's negative inside, right? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so guys, are they all prime numbers? Yeah. All right. How how many do I need in a group in order to be able to come out? Five. Do I have five of the same thing? 
No, we're so close with the threes, but we only have four. We don't have five. So you know what this means? Nobody comes out. Everybody goes right back in. Okay? So this is one of those weird ones where, all right then, fifth root, nobody can come out, so just let's all just stay in. Negative 324. Okay? It just feels so weird because it's such a big number. I feel like we should be able to bring something out. We can't. Okay? Well, I have the, the x cube to come out. I mean, I have in the inside negative 324 x All right. four lines. Okay, so then let's look at those together then. All right. So we have, let's look at the x's. We have 16 x's inside. How many groups of five can I make? 16 over five. Well then, this is one where I have to either draw out 16 X's or I need to just do my long division. You should get three point something, right? When you divide, yeah. So then, yeah, just like Tom said, three. That's your outside number. So three times five gives you 15, and you want to subtract that from your 16, so what's your remainder? One. Good. Yeah? So that means three X's. So X cubed comes out. How many stay in? One. One. That's your one? Why not? Good. Perfect. Good. Do you see the Y's? Five to the fourth. Tom said it. You don't have enough for them to come out because you don't have five. You only have four. So they all have to just stay in. So there you go. I know that my uh, x cubed is kind of far, so I can move it over a little bit, but it doesn't matter. The spacing doesn't really matter. Okay? Any questions about this one? All right, so let's go back to our notes, and we're going to look at the last, um, the last section there with the table. Okay, and yeah, yeah, and uh, the one way is the radical way. Okay, and that's what we've basically been doing: the r root of x to the p power that way, simplify the radical, and then the exponential way, so x to the power over root way, okay? So, all right, so let's try the exponential. I think exponential is a little bit easier, a little bit faster. If you have the square root of 121, x to the 12th, y to the 7th, to take it one piece at a time. So 121. What is the power or the exponent on the 121? Hmm, what is the power of it? No, the 12 is on the x. One. For the number, it's one. Right? That 12 is way too far. That 12 is connected to the x. Yeah. So it would be the automatic to the power of 2. Oh, uh, no, uh, for this one, the root. Mm -hmm. So the power, if you don't have one written there, is 1. But the root, if you don't have one written there, remember we say square root, right? Sure, so then that would be 2. Okay? So it's 121 to the 1 half power. How about the x? What is the power on the x, guys? 12 over, what's the root? 2. And what about the y? What's the power on the y? 7, what's the root? 2. Okay? Now, your 121 to the 1 half power, you got to put that in your calculator. If you get a nice pretty number, use that. If you get a decimal, just leave this. So put that in. Put in 121 to the 1 half power. 
Remember how to put it in? You gotta put parentheses around the one half. One, 121 to the one half power is really saying the square root of 121, right? The square root of 121 is 11. Now look at the x's. Can you simplify 12 over 2? What is 12 divided by 2? 6. Okay, if you can simplify that fraction, write the simplified form. All right? And what about for the y? 7 over 2, can you simplify that? No, then just leave it at 7 over 2. y to the 7 half power. And you know what? There you go. That's it for the exponential form. Okay? Pretty good, right? Leave it at power over root unless you can simplify it. All right, so what about the radical? Okay, so we have square root of 121, x to the 12, y to the 7. Okay, so we're going to start with the first the number. What's the square root of 121? Huh? Square root of 121? It's 11. It's 11. So 11. All right, let's look at the x's now. How many x's? 12. How many groups of 2 can you get from 12? Twelve dollars. You want to split it among two people evenly, can you? How much? How much money does everyone get? Six. Six, right? X to the six. Anything left over? No, right? It's an even split. How about the y's? Seven divided by two. You can't do it even. You can't do it even. How, 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 how much for each? Yeah. So if you think about this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, groups of two, one, two, three, right? Like if this was money, seven dollars split among you and me, we both get three dollars, and then how much is left over? One dollar left over. So you. So then you would have <laughs> three groups, and then unfortunately there's one left over, so you gotta put one. I know, but no sense, no sense. <laughs> You're right. If we wanted to be really fair, we would go into this, you know, change, but no, no sense. So I guess you just have to go in the back. All right. All right, so let's try the next one. Guys, I want you to try. Try the exponential way and try the simplifying radicals way. Okay, so we agree on the exponential. Thank you, Abner. So power over root, the 32 to the 1 -fifth power. Whenever you guys have numbers, put it in the calculator. If you get a nice, pretty, non-decimal number, then write that down. If it turns out to be a decimal, then just leave it. All right? So what about the radical form? Did we all get this for the radical? Yes? No? If you didn't, say something. Yeah? Yeah? All right. Good. Perfect. Good job, Tom. All right. Oh, was that the last one? No, there it is. I was like, I know there's one more. All right. So let's look at this one. All right. I want you guys to try this one too, please. 
Let's try the exponential and let's try the radical. And then we'll look at the problem on the homework. There's only one problem that looks like this on the homework. Okay. Okay. All right. So thank you, Tim Wynn. Thank you, Kevin. Are we okay with this? All right. So go back to your homework sheet and let's look on the back. If you look at number 12, it says write the following in two different ways. This is the exponential and the radical way. So let's try this one. Fourth root. All right, so we want the exponential way and we want the radical way. I want you guys to try this, please. All right, so for number 12 on the homework, the exponential should be that's your first step. You can't leave these fractions because you can simplify them, right? So this should be 3x to the 3 halves, y squared, and v to the 1 fourth. Did we get this? Yeah? Alright, if you didn't, then just say something, okay? I have to go over it. Alright, so the radical form the three. So let's see, if I have six x's, group of four here, the so one group comes out, I have two left over inside. Okay. Now the y's, I have eight. I have two groups of four, so y squared. And then let's see, z. I only have the one z. I can't make a group of four, so that has to just go inside. And so here's my radical form. Okay? Any questions about this? All right. So. What we're doing now is we're going to finish the rest of this worksheet A. Going over all of the homework, right? 9, 10, 11. Number 9. What did you get for number 9? Cube root of negative 27 squared. You can put that straight into the calculator. Or, you know what's another way you can put this in a calculator? The power over root way. Negative 27 to the, what's the power on this? Uh, power, power. Two. two divided by, what's the root? Three. What do you get? Nine. Good. Let's try number 10. Number 10 is cube root of negative 64 to the fourth power. Now, what did you get for this? 256. 256, yeah. Those were nice because your calculator did those for you nicely, right? Now, number 11, I told you guys, you know, your calculator's going to give you a decimal. You may have to rewrite this one. 25 to the 2 thirds power. Yeah? Okay, if you put this in the calculator, you get a decimal. All right, we don't want that. Right? So let's rewrite this as a radical. Power over root. 25. What's the power on the 25? Huh? Two. And what's the root? Three. Okay. So, 
Okay, let's do this. 25 squared means I have how many? How many 25? Two, right? We have two 25s here. If it's 25 squared, okay. So I'm going to break it down. 25 times 25. That's what it means to have 25 squared, right? Can I break down each of those 25? Yeah. yeah, what times what? Huh? Five times. five times five. So this one is a five times five, and this one is a five times five. How many do I need in the group to come out? Three. Three. Need those, I have three of the same. So one of those comes out. Do I have any that stay in? One. Yeah. So here you go. This is it. Okay. Now, does everyone have worksheet A completed? Okay. Take out your pink assignment sheet.